Hey YouTube, this is Rishika and this would be my 30th video tutorial on data stage and a sixth part in the transformer stage. So in the previous video tutorials I have pretty much discussed about date and time functions and uh, uh, yeah <laughs> I don't remember it's been long time I'm sorry I have been pretty busy so I didn't make uh, videos uh, recently. So yeah in this video uh, probably in my uh, previous video I have told that I'll deal with uh, I'll deal with the type conversions but uh, but let me just uh, go through string functions first and then uh, string functions and mathematical functions and then go to the type conversions okay so in this video I'll be dealing with uh, string functions so uh, as similar to the date and time functions it's obviously like I have uh, I made like all the different uh, things so I can't really uh, do it. I have already uh, I have already did it. Uh, so yeah. So I have uh, I have written the derivations and all that stuff. So uh, it 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 obviously takes a lot of time when we are writing like derivations when when I'm making a video. So that's the reason I made all the derivations and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I gonna uh, I have also run the job. So what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna view the data and according to that data i have taken a screenshot of the transform function so i'll just compare the uh, transform functions and relate it to the output data okay so i believe that's much simpler than writing uh, all the derivations in uh, while i'm making video okay so yep so this is my input data i, I have only taken like uh, probably yeah four columns i guess yeah i have taken only four columns so this is my input uh, input data. Uh, I pretty much used only uh, this COMP means compare. Okay, so yeah, I just named column so that it would be easy for me. NC means no case. Okay, so it's COMP is compare, compare a uh, COMPARE compare, and uh, NC is no case. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, this is my pretty much input data. Nothing to worry about this. Uh, but let me just bring the transform transformation functions and now compare uh, these transformation functions to the uh, data okay so yeah so uh, here if you see here all num please follow my cursor as as uh, as i have been saying in the previous video too even in this video it's pretty confusing so just follow my cursor okay thank you and now uh, yeah let's start with this all num all num is basically it's alpha numeric okay so if 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 it's like yeah if there are like only alphabets or numeric or the combination of alphabets and numerics it gonna result in just one uh, one as the output and if it's if it sees anything other than alphabets and numerics like the special characters or something like that it gonna result in zero okay so if you see here alnum video so it has only alphabets right so if you if you see here see alnum to all uh, because we have three rows so all those are just one and the same with it's just numeric right so the same one but when you see this al numeric video uh, uh this i sorry yeah so a uh, video and this uh, hash key and then 30 see the alnum for here is zero represented zero because it doesn't know what what is this hash key that's a special character right so it doesn't understand this function this string function alnum or alphanumeric actually it doesn't understand about the special characters so that's a result it's just giving us zero okay so yeah that's a that's thing about al, uh, alnum or alphanumeric function okay now uh, let's move to the alpha alpha is just like it's it's as a uh, if you see here alnum it's alpha and numeric right but if if it's alpha that means that it only checks for the alphabets it doesn't work for uh, numerics or it doesn't work for the combination and it doesn't work for any special characters so if you want to know let's say in the real time there is a column coming and if you want to know if that column has only uh, like alphabets or alpha numeric and all that stuff yeah you can use this function alpha and give that column name i just choose the word but yeah instead a uh, string string name but instead you can use just the column name so that it, it will if if that column uh, let's say if that column has all the alphabets uh, all the alphabets in that column so that 
the value for that column in the output gonna be one but if if it contains if if let's say some of the rows contain like numerics or special characters then those specific rows will have output as zero so that means that 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 specific row of that column is not uh, just alphabet but something more than alphabet okay so if you see here alpha data stage here it's only alphabets right so that's the reason here it's alpha the column is uh, just output given is one and next coming to alpha 30 here it's it's not alphabet it's numeric right so that's the reason it displayed zero and if you see alpha data stage 30 it's combination of alphabets and numeric so it's al alpha numeric but still it's not considered uh, alphabet complete alphabet right so that's the reason it's again zero and here obviously we have like special characters at the rate and hash key and numerics too so it's obviously uh, sorry it's obviously not an alpha uh, alphabet right so that's the reason it's zero again so only for the data stage thing it's giving one because that's the only thing which has all the columns in it okay so yep that's it and now we are done with this okay so compact white space compact white space means so basically what what does this function compact white space function does is if you see here this is my 30th video it has lot of spaces right in ev between every word so if if i uh, let uh, let's say like some of some some uh, sometimes we get like uh, this thing like tab delimiter or something like lot of a uh, lot of spaces in between the words so if you don't want to uh, if you don't want lot of spaces between the words and you just want to separate by single space uh, character then just choose compact white space so compact white space white space is just like space and you're trying to compact it compact means like bringing together right so yeah so the white space between the words is bringing together with to only one uh, one character which is like single space okay so if you see here this is my 30th video has a lot of white spaces but uh, so because i used compact white space function here when you see in my output it's pretty much normal right with single space character used the sentence is all good right so yeah that's the function of compact white space and uh, down case it's pretty simple down case is like if you have uh, let's say if you have like mixed uh, mixed uh, letters mixed case letters or uppercase letters or just lowercase and you want that like combination of uh, le a combination of uh, cases in all your records and you just want to have just uniformity or uh, among all the records like let's say uppercase or down case uh, lowercase yeah, if, if you want a lowercase, then you choose this down case thing. So if you see my data here, see this army, the first record is uh, capital, uh, all, all uppercase. And the second one is just uh, mixed, like first is uppercase and then all other is lowercase. And this is lowercase, right? So if you see here, it doesn't matter. All the three records, uh, no, no matter how, the, how, they are uh, how they are represented in input, they are always down case because I use the down case function, right? See down case, and I gave uh, I gave this uh, yeah down case. So I gave the column name. So whatever on the column names, it doesn't really matter. Just it gonna make all those uh, all those what do I say all those records to the down case. I mean lower case. That's it. Okay. So that's the function with down case, and uh, this convert function convert function it, it's the word says it right converting if you want to have a let's say you have a word or you have like a series of words and you want to convert those or that word into an other word you're just converting it right so yeah and there are like let's say like you have millions of records and you need not do it individually so if you just choose a convert function and just uh, specify what you're trying to do uh, with which word you want to uh, which letter you want to convert into which uh, which new letter so just specify those and then specify the link name okay so if you see here ds link uh, comp1 comp1 is my column name input data so if you see here uh, comp1 i have the first record is data data stage and data okay so what I'm trying to do here, okay, yeah, what I'm trying to do here, uh, I'm converting A, so I'm telling data stage, whenever you see A, 
please convert that a to w okay on this specific uh, column okay so if you see here please follow my cursor so if you see here see all the a's data right so d a t a so whenever you see a that's being converted to w right so yeah that's pretty much about this convert function and let me just uh, move this okay and now uh, what's that function d count okay so uh, d count function so d count is it's basically the delimiter so let's say if you have like uh, a specific column that is being uh, separated by number of delimiters so and you want to have like you want to know uh, how many words are how many words are there in those delimiters okay so what you're going to do is just choose the function d count and choose the column okay and you need to specify the delimiter right because it needs to understand what you're trying to do so d count is delimiter count so it gonna it gonna based on the delimiter it gonna give you the count of the words if you see here how many words i have how many words are separated with the delimiter it doesn't uh, it doesn't matter see one two this is first word is is second word my is third word 30th video is together one word because uh, if you see here the delimiter i specified is comma right but what do i have here some underscore so it's not counted so what does this do is this 30th video it's whole counted as a one word one single word okay so one two three four and five and six so the decount here is represented six right in the output so yeah uh, it doesn't matter how many delimiters you have but what what delimiter you specify here and based on that delimiter it's gonna give you the count okay so next decode decode is pretty simple it's basically double quotes that's it so whatever you have let's say you have a column and uh, the requirement is that that column need to have like uh, represented in double quotes so just use this uh, decode function and have your column name so if you see this uh, this so and so is my column name so what do you have in this data stage data and data stage so basically it's just just displaying in double quotes that's it okay and next is field function so field function is basically it gives a uh, uh, what do i say it gives occurrence so the field function is basically uh, it's uh, it's so <laughs> I was trying to uh, I was trying to uh, tell it in a simpler way. So yeah, basically it, it if if this if a specific column has been uh, has been separated by a kind of delimiter or something else, and you wanna have you wanna uh, you wanna pull out uh, pull out a substring of that uh, substring of that thing. Uh, so that's when this field function uh, gonna help. So if you see here, let me just tell an example be uh, because that makes simpler uh, than just giving theoretical part. Okay, so if you see here, join and colon, merge, colon, look up stages in data stage. So this is my basic, uh, what do I say, instead of column, I do have this. Okay, so my delimiter is colon, right? So I specified my delimiter colon. So two is I'm specifying uh, that use this uh, colon as a delimiter, but I want to uh, I want to I want to see the word which uh, which is like before this uh, before this second uh, before this uh, colon delimiter like the second before the position of the second uh, colon as a delimiter. Okay, so I just uh, so what does it uh, what does that mean is before the second one. So second one is it's after merge and before lookup, right? So I just want to have a look up. Um, I just want to see what's before that second. Uh, which word is that before second delimiter? Okay. So the delimiter basically uh, works as the position of the delimiter. I'm specifying works as a terminator. Okay. So yeah, merge. So merge is the word, right? So you might be wondering uh, if you can have like join colon merge, right? So it's gonna display join merge. It, it doesn't display join merge because this number two here that's uh, uh, that's basically the number of substrings I, I, I'm like specifying so if it's two I'm just specifying that I need just only the second substring okay so second substring is like something uh, only this word which has its uh, second position delimiter string okay 
and yeah uh, so because it creates confusion i have another function also uh, uh, written so the other thing now uh, if if it's if it makes sense to you see here i specified 1 comma 2 and it's the same function except that i specified 1 comma 2 so 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 means i'm basically specifying it i'm now uh, asking data stage though they are delimited uh, though they are separated by the colon delimiter i want to have the two words two words two substrings to have uh, written in the output so what are those two substrings i want the first substring and second substring so what are those substrings uh, with the delimiter join colon merge right so if you see here in the field to column here see join merge so i'm displaying like two different substrings because we can have like number of any number of substrings so that's a function so the first one is just the column name and the second one is like uh, basically the delimiter uh, the delimiter thing and the third one is like a uh, number of substrings you want to display okay so yep that's it and if you see here uh, if you see here field string functions uh, in the data stage and see here i instead of specifying a delimiter because i don't have any delimiters in this uh, uh, in the sentence so what i want to do is i was trying to see the position uh, i was trying to extract uh, the position i want to know uh, what what is the uh, what is the letter which is present before the before a but that a i don't want any other a i just want that like the second a so which letter is present which letter is present before the second uh, second a in this sentence okay so what the second a if you see here uh, what the second a a d a t a so second a is t uh, a right <laughs> after t right so i'm asking data stage what letter is before this second a so second a is acting as a delimiter now so it's act as a terminator so because i displayed two here it gonna it gonna display the before thing because it acts as a terminator so it gonna display t so if you see here see t is the one which is displayed okay so that's how it functions if you have delimiter just have the delimiter and if you don't have delimiter and you want to know specify uh, a like a word or a letter and uh, occurrence of it so just have this uh, thing that's it okay and now index index is uh, if you see here index index is nothing but it basically the uh, it, it gives uh, occurrence of the substring i guess uh yep oh no uh, it, it gives a position of the substring i guess yep so if you see my uh, data let me just pull out my data and if you see my data let me just okay okay so if you see here uh, what's index so com uh, comp one right so comp one is a column i have been using so comp, comp one what is a comp one data -A, uh, first record the data stage is the second record and data is again the third record okay so what i'm doing on this is i'm telling data stage to please uh, know me uh, let me know the position of a but which is like the third a not just any a because i do have like many a's in the data or data stage right so i'm asking data stage uh so to i want to know the position or the the number of the position number or number of the <laughs> yeah i just want to know the position number of a in this column but not just any a but the a which is in like third position okay so if you see here data there is no third a right because uh, there is no third a there are just two a's so what it gonna display it gonna display zero right if you see here it gonna display zero right and if you see if you then see okay okay and now if you then see uh, this uh, if if you if you see next to the next thing which is data stage data stage has obviously the third a right so third a which position is in third a 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so it going to display 7 right and the third it's again data and there is no third a so it displays zero again okay so that ho that's how uh, it going to function basically it gives the uh, position of the substring okay position of the substring based upon the uh, number you give or occurrence give occurrence you give okay so basically it gives the 
position of the substring based on the occurrence okay and the next thing it doesn't mean that you need to have like just just single uh, single letter you can have any number but unless you need to have uh, this that uh, that word or that letter existing in your column okay so if you see here index comp1 uh, ta so ta i'm looking for now ta okay so it's uh, i'm looking for uh, ta which is together like one word but not any other ta i just i'm looking for uh, the second position of the ta so if you see here comp1 d d a t a i i see that there is ta but what did i say the second position right so it's a first pos first position so i don't want this and there is no other thing attached to that so that's zero so if you see here index to zero and next is this the data stage so data stage d a t a yep it's one and s okay and then t a again right so t a first position and t a after s is the second position now i'm really interested in this so which position is this 1 2 3 4 5 and t 6 right so t a starts at 6 so that's the reason it uh, displayed as 6 here and again data it's obviously there is no second t a occurring so that's the reason it's displayed 0 okay so yep that's pretty much about the index function and now left left is uh, just <laughs> it gonna just display uh, just display the left leftmost characters based upon the number you number you specify here so if you see here i'm specifying a uh, comp1 which is the same column data data stage and data three records but i'm specifying i'm asking data stage to display only only five leftmost characters in this column okay so what are the let's say you have uh, this this is useful when you have like a column and when you're trying to have let's say you have a big policy number uh, okay, so uh, I mean in an insurance company. So we, we we really are not worried about the big policy number But we just need to have like look at first four uh, first four alphabets or first four digits so that we could get uh, We could just uh, then filter it. Okay based on that four digits. So instead of having whole uh, whole insurance policy number you can just have like left and then the uh, column name and specify four so that gonna just uh, basically display only the first four things okay so yeah that's useful so if you see here left so data if if, if it doesn't data is only four letters right length is four right so it doesn't display uh it just displays four right because it doesn't have any fifth so whenever you have like more than uh you specify so it displays the whole thing okay but data stage because it has like more than five characters it gonna display it it gonna stop after fifth character okay so that's the reason it displaying data s okay that's it and uh, next is length length is basically it displays how much uh, how much is that column length okay like uh, the characters how many characters are displayed in that length okay so if you see here comp nc comp nc is this column this data stage data stage data and data stage this is a comp thing okay so a data stage has nine letters and data has only four letters and data stage has four letters so that's the reason here nine four nine okay so that's it and next is number number uh, ds link comp one so what is this let me just pull out the input data so number means it just checks uh, it just checks if 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 the column has a numeric character or it has alphabet character so like similar to alpha numeric alnum and all that it going to check the uh, it going to check which characters are present in that uh, specific column okay so if you see here ds link comp1 comp1 is always uh, is is here in our column uh, i mean input data it's alphabets right so that's the reason if you see here all is zero so if it doesn't have any, uh, if it doesn't have like uh, alphabets, uh, sorry, if it doesn't have any numbers and just have alphabets, so then it's going to display zero. And if it has numbers, if you see other num30, right? So I have given num30. So that means it knows that 30 is only numeric, right? So that's the reason it displayed as one. So one means true and zero means false. Okay. So just remember that. And that's it. And next go to pad string 
patch string it's it's like padding so just remember patch string is some something like when you have like uh you say like leg pads while you say uh, while you play cricket or boxing pads and all that right so what is that basically you're padding it right uh proofing it right so th yeah that's the same thing in this uh data stage too so if you see here what did i do path string and i have given a link name which is like my first uh, data data stage and data records and and i asked and i'm i'm trying to, i asked data stage to pad it with x letter x and i want to pad it like four times okay so uh, how does it display uh, how did going to display is see here if you see here uh, if you see here path string column if you see here path string column see after data it is just like padded padded with uh, x which i specified i do I, I said data stage please pad this column with x which i need to have padded four times okay so see so every record has padded with x four times okay so yeah that's it and what next let me just move it okay so what next uh right so similarly uh like just just before we learn left right so it's going to display only the leftmost characters based on the number you specify so right is opposite of that it's going to display the rightmost characters based on this number you specify so so i specified a uh, comp 1 4 so which means that data because it has only four characters it doesn't matter like first four or last four it's going to display only data four but see here stage so stage is part of data stage right so because the last four letters are only t a g e so that's the reason it's displaying only four letters okay so yeah that's pretty much a uh, symbol right and sound x uh, sound x here see sound x is uh, basically uh, it, it's it's not that we used it often so yeah really need not worry about but just a brief idea it gonna display the number uh, or the phonetic uh, or the phonetic uh, uh, what is it? phonetic code based upon uh, based upon the pronunciation okay so if you see here s e a c right so see how uh, what's that phonetic code s triple zero but if you see here uh, if you if you if you see the next column see it's pronounced the same right it doesn't matter you you write it differently but still it's pronounced the same right so that's the reason if if two words are like pronounced same so it should have the same phonetic uh same phonetic thing right so yeah just uh, this i guess uh it's it's i mean you can have fun with it when when we don't know the pronunciation of exactly the uh, same words but it the, but the word looks uh same so then you use just sound x uh, sound x and this thing and see if the sound x uh, or the phonetic code is same if it's same yeah you can just go ahead and pronounce it same and if it's different so be careful and learn how to pronounce that okay so yeah that's it and ds link uh, and next is space okay so space is let me just uh, highlight uh, let me just extend this okay So yeah, space is it. It just gonna add space, uh, space, uh, to that whatever whatever number you specify here. That number of space is gonna be added. So yeah, if you if you just specify like five five space characters gonna be added. But we just can't specify. Uh, I mean, you can specify in your requirement. What what I what did I do is here, I try to uh, I try to, uh, bring both columns together. But I wanted to. Uh, I wanted those both columns separated by five space characters. Okay, so what did I do is I choose the first column which is comp one, and this column symbol it's it's not colon. I didn't write it. It's I choose it as concatenate symbol. I I'll show it uh, once I explain this. So yeah, when uh, whenever you have like column and then, then click on the expression editor like th those three dots. You get lot of like plus, uh, plus, minus, and multiplication, all that things, right? So along with those, we also have concatenate function. So concatenate means basically you're like trying to bring together, like co combine together, okay? Basically, 
So what I'm trying to combine is I'm trying to combine comp one with five space characters and then comp two. So basically, I'm bringing them together. Okay. So, but instead, I don't want them bring them together just like that. I wanted to bring to uh, bring them together with the uh, with five space characters. So if you see here, see data. This is like comp one and data uh, data stage is like comp two. Okay. So, but these are uh, these are separated by five different spaces, I believe. Okay, so yeah, the, basically it's two columns are separate. Uh, two columns are just concatenated, but separated by the five space characters, and I used space function. That's it. Okay, so yeah, and next S code is it's same as uh, D code, double code instead of but instead of double codes, that gonna be single code. So see here, so. Uh, doesn't matter which column you give so it's going to display that in single quotes okay so that's pretty simple and string is the string function is basically uh, it's asking as as similar to space space means you're specifying a number and then having space function right so it means that uh, that many space characters going to add right so string here means you you have a string or a column name let's say and the number you specify so that means that you are asking data stage to repeat the string or the or the value uh, existing in that column repeat this many times based on the num uh, number you give here that many times the column uh, the value in that column or the string in my case string value in my case going to repeat so if you see here see here what did i do i did a uh, video comma 3 so uh, what what i'm telling to data stage is i want to write video 3 times okay so yeah it did it right so video 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 so that's it three times right so yeah that's it and next function is strip white space so strip white space is basically it removes the space characters too it's not like compact white space it compact white space whenever it has like more more uh, space characters it gonna come it uh, it gonna make it to just one single space character right but strip white space it even removes the single space characters even if you have like multiple space characters it just brings all the words together no spaces nothing okay so yeah that's it if you see here removes removes space white spa uh, space spaces right but if you see here see there are no spaces all the words are just together okay and the up case if you remember it's opposite of down case so if you know most of the functions if you know one the other is the opposite thing so the up case instead of uh, having in the up, uh, lower case it doesn't matter which case you have in the input but uh, whenever you specify up case string function uh, it gonna always have like upper case uh, upper case thing written to the output okay so if you see here army are all in the upper case letters right so yeah and we do have uh, let me just show you the concatenate function first and uh, then let's go to the few other functions we have only a few uh, other functions so yeah so uh, let's just say let's click on random thing so okay so i specify a column here let's uh, let's specify a column so let's choose any other column it doesn't really make sense so let me just just alpha and when you click on this expression editor see concatenate so what it is i click on this concatenate so whenever you click concatenate it's going to display that and after that concatenate i choose a function as uh, space right yeah so do go to string and then choose space function so whenever you choose space it's going to ask uh, if you remember everything is predefined right so we just need to have our own thing defined so space is like let's say six and then again concatenate you're trying to concatenate these and then choose another column okay so that's it that's how uh, if, if uh, because we didn't specify the other column it's showing in red but yeah that's how you do a concatenate function okay so now uh, let's get into an other uh, other few functions so yeah this is an other set of functions uh, i just can't make all functions in the transformer stage so i made it in another uh, other transformer stage i designed a job so anyways so the compare function okay so the compare function is basically it gonna compare two columns or two strings uh, you, wh whatever you specify okay so this compare has like two justifications one is left justification and the other is right justification so if you don't specify like l uh, if you don't specify this r and uh, just this uh, two strings it means that by default it's always 
left justified okay so if if you want to specify yeah instead of r you can just specify l right l in double quotes that's it but it is it doesn't matter even if you specify or not okay B because by its by default it's always left justified okay so that's the reason i need not uh, i i didn't uh, really uh, specify l l here okay so yeah so compare what does it do is basically this is a string one video 29 is string one and video 30 is string two so this is my second string and the first string okay so it gonna compare the string one to the uh, string two okay so string one is compared to string two and uh, string one is uh, less than string two right so basically it's left justified right because i didn't specify here so left just uh, left specified means uh, it basically converts a string one to string two and if uh, if because it's left just if uh, left justified a string one is less than string two it gonna uh, it gonna uh, result the output as one and if string uh, uh, if uh, okay let's let's go to uh, uh, let's go to this uh, data or date okay so here uh, okay <laughs> so it doesn't matter okay so yeah that's it if if it's if the anything is not specified in the justification as argument or l is not specified that means that it's left justified and in left justified what does mean basically what what does that mean is left justification you're trying to do with the justification with the left side okay so the string one the string on the left side is being compared to the string on the right side and the, if the string is less than uh, the string on the right side so that means or the second string that means it gonna display it, it that means that the it, it it is justified and that gonna display the output as one okay uh, and if it's right justified is just opposite of that if you see here uh, alrm and apple it doesn't matter uh, you can just have your own uh, this uh, alphanumeric or just numeric or alphabets if it's alpha uh, if it's alphanumeric it gonna just uh, specify uh, based on the uh, position based on number of the letters and all that it gonna have and if it's numeric obviously greater or lesser and if it's just alphabet it gonna check each alphabet see if you see here a a same right in both of the strings so it gonna just cross out that and then check out the second letter second letter it's l in the first string and it's p in the second string right so what uh, right justified what it, what does it do is now it gonna so right justified basically uh compares the second string to the first string okay so second string to the first string so second string is uh, obviously p right so p is after uh, l right so that's the reason it is displaying as minus one right so that's a right justification and yeah you need not really worry about this but just just for your sake okay and see here uh see here i have like video 30 and video 29 and I just switched these uh, uh, switch these uh, strings basically, and right just I gave the right justification. So uh, so what does that uh, display here one right because it's I switch those if if I don't switch those then it's gonna display minus one but because I switch those and gave the right justification so that's the reason it's showing one in here CMP right numeric please follow my cursor so yeah that's the reason it's showing uh, one right so yeah that's it so now uh that's that's pretty much about those uh left and right justifications and the other is if you just have a uh, see here compare data and data so they are in different uh cases right so the different uh cases this is the upper case and this is the lower case so what i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to do uh, i'm trying to have uh, uh left justification okay so because i didn't specify any r or l that means by default it's left justification right so even though everything is same here uh, it is displaying minus one right minus one is the left is being compared to right and it does it says that that uh, it's it's not really uh, it's not uh, like the, the left one uh, is like something something is wrong because even though it's same it's not displaying it it should display zero because it's same right but it's not displaying why because uh, when are you when you're trying to compare two different strings or two different columns they need to have the same case if you if you are uh, then they are uh, this compare thing is really case sensitive so that's the reason they have another function introduced called compare so compare no case here 
compare no case means that uh, now the com uh, the case sensitivity it doesn't more uh, doesn't exist anymore so if you see here the compare data data that column comp uh, cmp3 is being displayed minus 1 right but if i choose the same strings but instead of just compare uh, function i choose compare no case so that's the reason no case when i choose no case it means that i'm telling please uh, please don't see any uh, please don't be case sensitive it doesn't matter i'm not really uh, thinking about the case sensitivity so just check out the strings that's it okay so now it doesn't really matter even though there are different case uh, different cases uh, it understood that it's the same data so that's the reason it displayed zero here okay so yeah that's it and the next is compare num compare num is compare number okay so compare number means basically it 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 uh, basically uh, what do i say it it has like a it compares based upon the uh, length you give here so if you see here uh, what did i give here i gave data in caps and data stage in lower letters and comma 4 right so what i'm trying to tell data stage is please compare these two uh, these two strings data and data stage but compare them only till four first four letters okay so that's uh, that's the only thing uh, which you give here okay i didn't tell about this right so yeah compare num uh, data and data stage they are in the same case right so it doesn't matter so what i'm telling to it is compare till fifth letters okay so because data state uh, data has no uh, fifth letter and data stage has fifth letter it doesn't really uh, compare to fifth right so that's the reason it's showing minus one here please follow my cursor again minus one in this cmp and uh, num1 column okay so now when you reverse the strings re when you reverse the strings it means that now the first string this which is data stage is being compared to data okay so now this has five strings before here it has only four strings but the other string has five strings so the four is not cannot compare to five right it doesn't it it, it can't really understand that but now uh, i guess it's it's making sense because yeah uh, it, it you need to work on yourself i can't really explain it in a simpler way than this i'm sorry guys okay so anyhow uh, coming back to this this five uh, i'm i'm now telling data stage that please uh, check it with five but compare this data stage string to data now so it gonna check data s okay so data s among this data s it gonna have this data right so that's the reason it's displaying cmp num2 okay and comp num okay so compare num here uh, if you see here they are in different cases right data and data stage so so even though uh, so i'm now specifying only four so instead of here uh, instead of five here because it can't really compare i'm specifying only four so now it can compare four right because data is four and it can have uh, data in this data stage two so it should result it should result in one right but still it uh, it results in minus one if you see here this column cmp num three it's minus one right why because this case sensitivity exists again so even though uh, even though it can be true because if it's only four uh, four uh, length is only four displayed uh, that's the that's an, a problem because the because of the case sensitivity issue okay so that's the reason they have another function introduced called compare no, no compare number no case so yeah now it's going to display a uh, zero right because it has uh, we just resolve the case sensitivity issue okay so that's the reason if you see here compare norm no case it's zero here right okay that's it and now count count is basically uh, you're specifying a string or a column and you want to know how many how many uh, how many uh, times the letter uh, specified or how many uh, times the word the specific word is repeated in that column or in that string okay so that it gonna just counts the count the uh, substring okay so now uh, yeah you can just say the count of the substring okay so my substring i displayed is a so i want to count how many a's are uh, existing in data stage word okay so how many exist one two and three right so if you see here see count underscore one column it's three here right yep that's it where is count okay 
and see here count number one it's three right okay so that's it and count if you see here the next column count okay so I do have um, many number of words but all are uh, separated by a specific uh, underscore or something okay so now instead of just a single letter I'm trying to I'm trying to find a two letter word okay so in this how many I want to know how many times this R A is being repeated in this whole word uh, or whole string okay so how many times it's being repeated R A 1 2 3 and 4 right so that's the reason this count uh, count underscore 2 column is displayed as 4 okay so that's it and next it's trim functions this is the important function so please just uh, concentrate guys so trim function basically if you just specify trim and uh, uh, nothing other than that it gonna dis uh, it gonna just remove uh, before and after I mean before are called leading leading characters and after after uh, the string is called uh, trailing characters okay so whenever you have like before they say they say it is leading and whenever it is after it say it's called uh, trailing uh, trailing space or trailing characters okay so yeah we can have like multiple trim functions but whenever you specify the simple trim function uh, if you have like leading and uh, leading and trailing spaces let's say as per in this example it gonna now display uh, it gonna just trim those space characters and display it as 30th video with no sp uh, spaces trim, uh, with all the spaces removed before and after see here 30th video there are no before space and after space are also not there because I extended it it gonna display but after space are also not there okay so yep that's it that's about the trim function and if you have uh, let's say you have it uh, you you have a date column and uh, in real time let's say you have a date column because I specified date instead of date I can just choose the column name okay uh, if you really want to know how, how this works in a real time scenario okay so let's say that column has a uh, uh, this uh, year month and day uh, date thing but instead of single hyphen uh, accidentally some of the records have double hyphen okay and uh, you don't know uh, and you are you have identified those uh, those a few records okay and if you want to remove that then just use stream function and specify the column name and whatever because I have hyphen here I'm just displaying hyphen and if there is no hyphen it's a uh, uh, slash forward slash or black slash or anything yeah so just display uh, which one you want to remove that that's it okay so whenever you specify this uh, this thing it gonna display only one of that whatever is like ex uh, whatever is like uh, uh, existing more than once it gonna display that okay so whenever you specify this uh, see, see so you want to basically specify delimiter that's it okay so whenever you have like this delimiter see now instead of uh, instead of two it has only one right so yeah that's it that's about that and next is yeah so see here uh, next thing is trim the same thing uh, three, it doesn't matter how many I have uh, here to have one and here three so I specified the delimiter and along with the delimiter I, all, I also specified a as my uh, argument right so what does it mean a means a means a represents basically all so I'm asking data stage, uh, I'm, I'm telling data stage that this hyphen is my delimiter and I want to remove all my delimiters, not just one as in the previous example, but all my delimiters, okay? So how it gonna display is, it just gonna display as a number, right? Because all the delimiters are just removed, so it gonna just display the number, okay? So yeah, that's, uh, that's about the trim all function so trim uh, here if you see here this trim uh, at trim underscore b we do have trim b function separately and this is like uh, it's like manual thing okay so if you want to remove uh, all the leading and trailing special characters just specify uh, let's say you have like this uh, if you see here my save my example here i have like percentage symbols before and after happy holidays right happy holidays is my uh, string and there are like before and after percentage symbols so I don't want those percentage symbols I just want to remove that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify what I gonna uh, what I want to remove which is percentage obviously percentage symbol and then uh, specify my uh, my option my option is B B means it gonna display all the leading and trailing special characters okay 
so yeah so uh, because I specified the stream function and then BC here if you follow my cursor uh, I placed it on now output data it is happy holidays all the percentage symbols before and after are just removed right so yeah that's the that's another uh, trim function with which we can write trim functions uh, with like multiple options like b l t r a and all that things so basically each one has its own uh, different function okay so yeah if you come to this l uh, l option so what does this l means if you see here i have hashtags uh, a hashtags right so i have he three hashtags uh, before happy before my string and two hashtags in middle and one hashtag after uh, this so obviously my uh, my which i want to remove is hashtag so what does this l represent is i want to remove all the leading ones so l means leading right so leading are whatever are the special characters or whatever characters are before the string right before the actual string so how many are these three right so it doesn't really remove all this in the middle or after the string it just removes the leading because we are specifying l right so l means leading so it only uh, removes the leading characters so if you see here see if you see my output data here it just removed the three hashtag keys before the string and everything is in intact that's it okay so that's how this uh, l thing functions and how about uh, t means it's exactly the same thing as l but instead of the leading characters now it's trailing okay so t means trailing right trailing means after uh, after the string right so see here so what it gonna do now is it gonna remain everything is remain intact except that the last uh, hashtag which is like after ho holidays it's removed right so yeah that's uh, it just removed the last character or the trailing uh trailing thing which i have uh here hashtag that's it okay and uh r r is like something uh something special it gonna basically remove uh it gonna basically remove the leading and uh leading and trailing characters and and other special thing what it does as far as i remember is it gonna reduce the redundancy of the special characters between the strings right so if you see here i have three obviously it's going to remove the before and after uh, strings and when you come to here uh, come to here between the happy and holidays you have three hashtags right but if you see in my output data there is only one hashtag so what does that it do is it basically reduces the redundancy so if you have like 10 basic basically it reduces the redundancy that's it so it, it doesn't gonna uh, uh it redundancy is like uh, repeating times so it it it, it doesn't allow it to repeat more times so it just uh, displays uh, reduces the redundancies so that's the reason we have r here okay so just rem uh, just remember that reducing redundant uh, when whenever you want to reduce the redundant uh, special characters or redundant characters that's when you specify your uh, special character and then uh, give your option special character as an argument and specify your option as an r okay so yeah and because I have been specifying only string or, or the only uh, things, uh, these things, I just want to have this number too. It's pretty much same, but just uh, instead of an, uh, I just specified a number. So whenever you have like big decimal things uh, like uh, uh, front zeros and after, after the decimal zeros, and you just don't want all those functions, see here. So just uh, what, what what do you want to trim zero right? So just specify what do you want to trim. So I want to I want to tr uh, trim uh, I want to just trim zero. So if I trim zero, what does that mean? Just displaying the number right? So yeah, that's it. And trim B holidays. Trim B holidays means it just because I said here. If you see here, I spec I specified here right? So this is by specifying the special characters. But if you go, if you don't have special characters, and if you just have, uh, if you just have spa uh, space as uh, characters, so that when you, uh, that's when you choose the trim B function. So trim B, uh, if, if I have like, so let's say after holidays, I have like multiple uh, space functions, and I just want to remove that. So that's uh, that's when you use the trim B function. So if I, whenever you use trim B function, see now everything is all set. Happy holidays. I don't have. Uh, trailing spaces okay and trim f it's opposite of trim b it gonna now trim the uh forward thing like for before this uh before the string spaces it gonna just trim off the uh spaces which are present actually before the string okay 
so if you see here there are no uh, spaces before the string right so yeah please follow my cursor okay so yeah trim leading and trailing uh, trim leading and trailing leading trailing it's pretty much just trim yeah you can just have like just trim function but yeah it's an additional function so yeah you can have like it gonna just uh, trim the leading uh, space characters and the trailing space characters that's it so that's the reason it's happy holidays okay so yep that's pretty much about this uh, string functions I I hope uh, I hope I explained it a little better uh, I'm sorry guys if, if you didn't really understand because I can't these are pretty simple functions but sometimes it create confusions especially uh, compare functions uh, so yeah, uh, if in confusion I specify, uh, I mean if in confusion I have uh, repeated it many times and specif uh, and uh, and mentioned it like one wrong, please uh, ignore me and I'm really sorry because it it's it's little confusing for me too if I go on telling what's compare compare num and all that things. So yeah, you need to work on yourself. Just take an example and uh, just do that. Okay and uh, yeah that's pretty much about the string function so in my next video uh, probably I'm gonna deal with so next uh, we are done with okay let me just uh, see what we are done with. we are done with date and time and we are done with null handling and we are done with string okay so what I'm gonna do is next is mathematical okay so next after once we are done with mathematical then I'm gonna show a uh, type conversion and um, then everything is just like uh, just in one video okay there those are not pretty important so just uh, I'll just give a brief overview in just one video okay so yeah mathematical and type conversions are pretty important so yeah that's it okay thank you guys and I'm really sorry uh, <laughs> for making this video like uh, uh taking so long time to make this video i was like really busy so because it's christmas time now i'll speed up my videos once again so i gonna post mathematical functions pretty soon and type conversions too so with that we'll be done with the functions and then we'll go for stage variables and looping and all that things okay thank you guys thank you so much for watching